Okay, cool. So here we are again, learning Drupal 8 through trial and error. And this time I want to cover in this blog series something that's it's not a huge deal, but it, it's just a nice thing to have nowadays is when I install Drupal 7, depending on the project, there's always a handful of things module-wise that I have to go download, I have to enable. It's just It gets tedious after a while, and it's just nice to start seeing some of the reusable things that we use in Drupal 7 that become core in Drupal 8. A big, for example, views. Now you don't have to go and download views module. It's already part of core, and it's great. So I want to cover the fact that we now have a few new fields that we can have as options when it comes to creating our content types. And it's great that we now have these because they're used quite often and now I don't have to go download another module just for a field to get me these types of things. We're going to start off by taking a look here. I've got a Drupal 8 website with a piece of content where I utilize these fields that I'm referring to. Let's go ahead and just take a look. Let's go to extend. I'm going to scroll all the way down here and we'll see here that we've now got field types and We've got date time, so date is now in core. That's actually a huge win right there because the date module is just, I mean, a website without dates just doesn't make any sense these days. We've got entity reference in core, great. A big thing now that we have is link, telephone, yeah, and also email, which is pretty much just part of the field module itself. So let's go ahead and take a look at the content type I have set up and we'll just kind of go over these, see some of the positives, some of the negatives. Let's go to our structure content types and I did this all on the basic page so let's just manage the fields so now if you notice if I want to add a new field and I select a field type here's where we've got a date field type an email field type a link field type and telephone number those were all things I had to download modules for and now it's great because they're in core because quite often you want to add a link as a field a couple things let's go ahead and just look at each one of these just so you can see what they're doing the first one I'm going to start out with is the phone number one one thing that really bothered me about the phone number one is if let's go ahead and click edit pretty much the same as adding these options you get there's not very many options with the phone although it's great that we can get a phone field I can't limit so someone could just put in a large amount of numbers in this field there's nothing about area codes nothing like that so that's kind of a bummer, but let's go ahead and take a look at our content and I'll show you one thing that is pretty nice about this. If you notice that the phone number is actually a hyperlink, and if you notice in the lower left corner that shows what the link is, it's got tell colon and the number. If I inspect the element, you'll see it's HTML actually has the hyperlink with tell colon. How we go about making this happen is you actually have to set this up. So let's go back to structure, content types. I'm going to manage the display. And if you notice under phone, by default, it was just set as plain text. But if you set it to a telephone link, that's going to put that in front of it, which gives things such as mobile devices or even your desktop, the ability that when you click that link, it will launch some type of dialing device. For example, if I clicked on it, it defaulted to launch Skype and Skype wanted to dial that number. So although phone is very handy for that, when it comes to basically limiting what goes into that field and controlling the field, there's not much, but it's great to have phone and core. Since we're on this page, let's just go over some of the other displays. Email is really nice. If you uh, want to, you can choose to show as email or plain text. The Link, same thing, you've got some options. You can show it as a link or separate link text and the URL. We also have some settings here where you could trim the link, you could show a URL only, you could put no file, you can make it open up in a new window. That's pretty great. Even the telephone has a few options in here, but not too much. So it's pretty cool. Date's nice too, because we can also show you know, plain text or default, but default allows us to just show the standard date format, but we also can click on some settings for that where we can choose date formatting, which gives us the formats that we have control over in Drupal core. But we can also choose something like HTML date, which is great because now it's using the HTML tag that actually gives us dates properly for HTML. It's pretty great. Let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. Let's go back to our content. So our date right here, if we go ahead and look at the code on this one, if you'll notice here, it's actually using the time tag and date time as part of it. So it's it's a lot better when it comes to the HTML setup. So these are things that we're just now getting out of core. It's pretty cool. Same thing, which also is kind of nice. Let's go ahead and add some content. I'm gonna show you a few things that they are doing to limit us. So content, add some content. Let's 
go ahead and add a basic page. So phone, like I said, there's nothing stopping me from doing that. But what's nice in the email field, if I try to do this, test.com, save and publish, it's going to let me know that the email field requires an at symbol in it. So that's pretty cool. So there is some validation there. So we can just do Kyle at test.com. The URL is kind of like the same thing. If I just tried to put drupalize.me and try to save and publish again, it's going to give me a warning saying it's an invalid URL because it wants an HTTP on there. It's nice because you can have the link text, which can be used as when you manage display. So you could show the link text next to the URL and other things like that. The date's also nice. We've got date and core. You can type it in. We have a pretty decent looking date picker. So it's just, it's cool that these things are now in core. There's some validity behind them, some quirks, but again, we're saving time and core is just becoming that much more useful. Thank <laughs> you.